Ooh. What is up you guys? Welcome back to my channel. If you guys are new here, welcome. If you guys are already part of this wonderful family, thank you guys so much for continuing to watch and support. So in today's video, you guys, we have our boxy charm for the month of July. It's almost like the end of the year basically <laughs> not really but so once we start getting into July I feel like oh my god this this year is really flying by so fast but so slow at the same time and it's crazy but we're here so before jumping into today's video as always make sure that you guys subscribe and leave a comment down below so I know you guys are watching also remember to hit that little notification bell so you guys are notified every single time that I upload here on my channel I think that's about it. So let's go ahead and jump into our July BoxyCharm unboxing. Let's go. Look at my shirt. It matches my nails. Except for this one nail, it's actually white. Long story short, I chipped it, I repainted it, and that's the situation. The little theme card that they sent was this, and it is Fanta C, as in like C with water and things <laughs> so this is what the card looks like very cute so the first thing on the card at the very top i am excited about this product it is from ofra cosmetics it does retail for 39 dollars, and it is their good to go palette okay so it has this little protective film on it it has a little like magnet down here so it can just kind of like snap together like that this does retail for 39 dollars, and by the looks of it it kind of has a mix of different things in here so it does have some eyeshadows highlights i believe this is a blush and then a bronzer i'm not 100 percent sure i don't have any eyeshadow on and i don't have any highlighter on on purpose so i can try this out but this does retail for 39 dollars and according to the little pamphlet it does say that it is a lightweight magnetic and interchange interchangeable palette it is the perfect add-on to pop into your makeup bag so then on the back it also has like the names of all of the shades the um highlights the blush and the bronzer around there so this is a little bit of like everything i'm gonna pick up some of this blush just add a little more blush wow okay so i mean it's definitely pigmented i'm probably gonna have to blend it out a little bit okay so one thing i will say is that ofra does have some of the best highlights in the game so this highlight wheel right here looks very very pretty it has a little bit of like different tones so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna kind of just swirl my brush around in it pick some up and apply some highlight Ooh. Do you guys see how blinding that is? I mean, I'm telling you guys, Ofra has some of the best highlights. If you want a blinding highlight, Ofra's got you. So we just like took this look to a whole nother level. So I'm not going to go too crazy, but I want to kind of just play around with them a little bit. So I'm going to take this shade, which looks like Reset. It's more like a nude orangey tone oh i didn't even notice this on the palette it does say smile you are beautiful that is so cute it would be nice if i had a little mirror though because i mean with a face palette like you kind of see what you're doing but we're gonna add a little bit of this like orangey tone nude right into the crease i'm not gonna do anything too crazy like i said because i already have my lashes on so I'm just going to kind of throw on a little bit of color in here. Wow. I've actually, I don't think I've ever used any of Ofra's um, eyeshadows before. I've definitely used their highlighters. Their eyeshadows are actually blending out very, very nice. They're pigmented, so definitely light-handed with this. Super pretty. I really like this color too. It's like a nude brown shade, but it has like a tint of orange. It's a little bit more on the warmer side and it's definitely very pretty but i'm gonna go ahead and add a little bit of this color it is the fresh shade right here it is calling my name and look at how pretty this is this just looks so beautiful i'm gonna go ahead and pop this right on the lid and just kind of see how that blends out i'm gonna do it just with my finger oh my goodness this color is so pretty i mean i'm not gonna be too precise i was actually doing a review on a product before this video so I already had my makeup done. I'm going to take it on a brush to kind of get in there where my fingers couldn't and just bring that across the lid. I mean, the fact that there's not a lot of fallout on my lashes is actually quite impressive. And these two shades together look really really pretty i really like this my next product on my list is this dermalect comiceuticals outcrease retinol 
trifecta serum serum this does retail for $39 and it says that it successfully targets the look of fine lines wrinkles thick skin and sun damage it also mentions that it has some retinal actives okay so it does come in this little dropper form and it is obviously like a little serum like that and this does retail for $39 however the thing with this is that because I am on tretinoin and I have some other prescriptions that I'm doing with my dermatologist I cannot use a retinol right now so because the tretinoin like it serves as a retinol it's part of the retinol family so I can't use that I'll probably either give it to my mom or my brother or something because I mean they're pretty into skincare as well I like the concept of the of it if I weren't on my tretinoin or anything like that I would definitely be trying this out but unfortunately I cannot right now okay so the next thing is actually this vitamin infused eye serum this is from mud masky and this is probably the most expensive thing in the entire box this retails for $63 which is a lot and it actually matches my nails and my shirt today so this is what the packaging looks like and I mean for an eye serum it's pretty big oh it has one fluid ounce okay so that's not bad that's like an entire foundation bottle right here so this is what it looks like let's put a little bit on the back of my hand it has absolutely no scent this is what it looks like and I'm gonna go ahead and just blend it out so it says it's a serum but it has kind of like a lotion texture to it but this is what it looks like so I mean it really sinks into the skin so my skin really absorbed that very well so I am kind of curious to see what it will do underneath my eyes this is something that I can definitely try it does say on the bottle that it is a moisture booster a vitamin boost feeding nourishing and firming it is also pH balance fragrance free and it reduces dark circles so that's very exciting I'm actually intrigued by this so I can't wait to try this this is something that I can definitely use now looking at my hand right now you guys it is so soft and it just completely like sunk into my skin my skin really just like right up I'm excited to use that actually okay so the next thing is actually I've never seen anything like this this is from Ali Oop and this is the pen pal 4-in-1 makeup pen so this is what the packaging looks like but Let's go ahead and, okay, so this is, I guess, the shades. So this is the packaging of the box. It has a picture of what the pen looks like on the back of the box, and then it also has, like, these little details, and it says that there is an eyeliner in black, a highlighter in champagne, a lip pencil in mauve, or is it mauve? Mauve, mauve, I don't really know. But, and then it also has a brow pencil in coffee brown. So I don't really use brow products ever since I got them powder brows. I don't really do them anymore. But sometimes I will go like on the bottom just to kind of like outline the bottom. But this reminds me of like those pens in like middle school with all the different colors on it. If you guys know what I'm talking about. You click one down and then in order for it to come back up you have to like click another one and it'll come back up. I don't know, that's what it reminds me of. But this is very intriguing and I want to see what this is about. Okay, so this is the eyeliner and then it's telling me to twist. So you have to kind of twist it a little bit once you pick whatever it is that you're going to be using. Twist a little bit and that's what the eyeliner looks like. This is what the eyeliner looks like. It's more like a pencil liner. It's like a grayish black. It's not like the blackest black eyeliner out there, like if that's what you're looking for. I mean, I'm not like super blown away by it, but I mean. And then we have the brown one, which is the, which is supposed to be, what is this? The brow pencil so to be completely honest I feel like the brow pencil was a little bit uh, more pigmented than the black eyeliner that's just my opinion it went on a little bit more smoothly it looks creamier and it looks a little bit more pigmented Ooh, this is actually really pretty okay so I feel like with each one that I'm using it gets creamier and creamier so this lip pencil was actually very creamy it was like a buttery consistency so very very nice and then pulling down the last one we have the highlighter in champagne so I'm gonna go ahead and just twist it so it can come out so this is the highlight right here and I mean it's not super noticeable unless the light is like really hitting it so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna actually pop this highlight right on the brow bone and see if it comes up at all I mean, can you guys notice a difference or not really? Let's do a little bit like in the inner corner right here. There's not a lot of highlight action. I mean, can you guys tell the difference? I honestly really can't. <laughs> I mean, it looked really pretty as a swatch on my hand, 
putting it on the brow bone like in action there's like a little pop of color there but not a whole lot I mean, I like the whole concept of the little pen itself. However, is it practical when, I mean, things don't really show up? Not really. However, I'm going to have to play around with it and definitely see what it does. But not my favorite product in the box. Okay, so the final thing in my box is this from Bella Pierre Cosmetics. And it is a liquid eyeliner in black. This one retails for $20. And it says it's just a jet black liquid liner that is flexible, tapered tip perfect for thin strokes or bold lines. It says that it is also a long lasting formula and it dries quickly for a beautiful matte finish. So this is the packaging of the eyeliner. We're gonna go ahead and open it on up. Ooh, okay, so this reminds me of like the Wet n Wild packaging. It's actually one of my favorite eyeliners, so I really like that. So this is what the wand looks like. It looks a little thick actually, but let's go ahead and do like a one. Oh wow, that's like really pigmented. So that's really pigmented. Let me do one on camera for you guys. So this is what it looks like. So you can kind of like position the brush where you want it. So if you want like a pretty thick one, you can do that. Or you can kind of bring it to the tip and make it a little bit like thinner. I don't know if you guys saw that, but I like how you can kind of control how to do it with that brush. So I like that you can kind of control it and create like a thicker, um, bolder kind of liner as and also a thinner one instead of having to like go over it a million times. It is drying down pretty fast and it's drying down at, to a matte finish. So if you're into matte liners, you're definitely gonna like this. It dries down pretty fast and I'm actually like pushing on it and nothing is coming up like it's not transferring at all. So that's a really good sign. So I think that I would actually really like this liner. Like I said, it does retail for $20. And yeah, that pretty much wraps up my box. This is probably not my favorite BoxyCharm. Again, BoxyCharm can be a hit or miss sometimes. And I feel like this year they were doing a pretty consistent job of creating boxes that um, I was enjoying. This month was not the biggest hit. Some of these I probably won't be using. Um, like I said, the retinol, I definitely won't be able to use it for sure just because of the prescriptions like the tretinoin and things like that that I'm on with my dermatologist. It will not let me, uh, you know, incorporate another retinol into my routine because that would just be crazy. So not my favorite, but I'm very excited for this Ofra palette. Like I said, it is beyond beautiful. These shades were so pretty and I really, really like this one. So that just like was really pretty. I'm going to have like swatches just all over me today, but this fresh shade was just like stunning. It was absolutely beautiful. And then we have like this other gold shade that just looks so pretty. This is what the other gold shade looks like and it just looks so pretty. I'm going to swatch it right next to this one. I mean, ugh, that is going to look so nice when I'm doing like a bronzy, like summertime look. And then we also have like this rose shimmer in here as well. So this rose gold shade is actually really pretty as well. Look at these shimmers. Oh my goodness. They are so creamy and so buttery. I'm obsessed. So that over palette and probably the liner are like my favorite things from the entire box. So let's actually total it all up and see how much we have here. All right, so that pretty much wraps up today's video. So let's talk about the total of my box. So the boxy charm that I have was the base box and I paid $25 for it. It is a monthly subscription. However, the retail box of all of my products in today's box is $186, which is incredible that it's that much. One thing that I will say about my box this month is that it wasn't my favorite of the year. Now, um, I have seen other box term videos and sometimes people get just a little, a little bit disappointed with their boxes, but that's the thing about these subscription boxes that you don't exactly know what you're getting. Now, they do have something called choice where you can choose one item per month that you are going to get definitely in your box. However, you know, there's just gonna be surprises in each box. From the beginning of the year up until today, I really like my boxes. They have been incredible and I really like the products. This month for the month of July, I was a little bit on the fence of it. Like it's not my favorite box, but I mean, I love some of these products and some of these products are still like this palette alone is $39. I paid 25 for the box, so I can't really complain about that. Yeah, that pretty much wraps up today's video. I hope that you guys enjoyed and I will see you guys in my next one. I will see you guys very soon. Ciao.